When we gather to worship, we are called to share our first fruits. That is the very best of what it is that God has given us in this week. We share our time, we share our talent, we share our treasure. This faith community has been so generous in this season and has made it possible for us to continue supporting area nonprofits, not just at the levels that we have in the past, but at new levels because the need is so great. If you've not yet taken the time to take a look at the video from the MANA town hall conversation that we had two weeks ago, I encourage you to do that. You'll find the link among our worship resources for today. It's about an hour long and you'll hear just a little snippet of how it is that an organization that provides food services for so many is actually surviving and thriving in this season, making sure that the most vulnerable are fed. Each week, each week we lift our gifts and lay them at the altar. We can't pass a plate anymore. We can't um, hold those gifts up high in front of one another and sing glory be to the Father. And so in this season, we have been acknowledging that we are all called to share our light in the world. One part of the way that we offer the very best of ourselves Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. When we come together, we also share our prayers, our joys and our concerns, those things that have been on our heart. And today I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath and join me in a time of prayer. Let us pray. God, whose wisdom is deep and wide, enter into our hearts, wrap us in your Holy Spirit, guide us. God, we lift to you all of those who are unwell those who are unwell in body and spirit, in heart. We ask that you are a source of comfort and healing. God of power, we also lift to you caregivers, caregivers of all stripes the ones with advanced degrees and the ones who are making sure that people are fed and places are clean and supplies are delivered. We pray for their energy and their health and well-being and the families that care for them so that they can get up each day and keep moving forward. We pray for their spirits that they understand how vital and how beloved they are. God, in this season, we pray for ourselves. We pray for our patience. We pray for our resilience. We ask for forgiveness for the places where we have not opened ourselves up fully to the world and acknowledged the ways that we might cause hurt and pain. God, we pray for Ahmad Arbery and his family. We pray for those who are victims, who are chased, who are oppressed, who are unsafe in their own skin. And we ask you to show us the ways that we are not part of the problem, but instead actually part of a world that changes to embrace and love all. We pray for an end to violence that is somehow seen to be an answer. We pray for our leaders. We pray for 
our leaders here at Faith who are wrestling with hard questions about how we are the body of Christ in this season. And we pray for leaders in our local area and across the country and across the globe who are grappling with how to be so very human, to have compassion and care and love. And we pray today for all of the people who have cared for us well, whether we call that person mom or friend, for the people who have tended us and nurtured us and helped us become. God, we lift all of these things and the very things that we cannot speak out loud because they are so precious, so hard, so real. And hear us as we pray as Jesus taught us saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, it is my hope that you have found some morsel that is life-giving on this day. It is my prayer that you have found some spark that guides you out into this week. Go out from this place, created with all of the gifts that the world needs. Go out from this place, walking in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, who kept drawing the the unclaimed to him, no matter what. Go out from this place surrounded by the breath of the Holy Spirit that lets itself energize you so. Go out from this place to be light and love. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Amen.